Hey there, I'm Tyler and welcome to the channel. Today we're gonna build this big, beautiful, minimal and clean desk from Hickory. Well, this desk is something else. Super clean, beautiful finish on some roughly one and a half inch thick solid Hickory. Very, very heavy and will last forever desk. I do have metal legs on the end. I didn't show any of that welding because nobody likes that on this channel, but it's a minimal style. So it's just the desk floating up against the wall so you can slide out and not slam your knee. These filing cabinets will be in a future video. So make sure you subscribe so you don't miss those. And that is holding up the center of the desk. And as you can see there, there's plenty of room for lots of activities and space on this desk. To get started, I'm gonna use the track saw and lop off the end so that these boards are 94 inches long, which is all I can get across the shop here on the milling machines. And I even have to move them a little bit kitty cornered to make even that happen. So we'll do that on the track saw and then we will move over to the milling machines and get everything flat before going back to the table saw and lopping off the unstraight barked sides. As you can see here, we got one end of this slab significantly larger than the other, which would be great if I wanted the bark and the live edge look on here, but we want a more structured, uniform looking desk. I'm gonna use a track saw and lop off this uneven side here, and that'll give us two straight edges to work with. the third time empty in this now so that's 99 gallons of sawdust and I bet you I have at least one more to go. At this point the boards have rested for a couple of days. There are two boards that have a slight bow to them. The plan is if I oppose those bows it should flatten everything out in conjunction with the metal legs and the support brackets that are going to go underneath this everything should stay flat. Now we're going to go over to the table saw and make sure we have two sides that have a glue line rip on them and then we're going to glue this panel up. I'm going to change my blades from a 50 tooth combination to a 30 tooth glue line rip and this will give us a much cleaner cut and it will be easier on the saw. Yeah. 
Okay, we got slab number one, slab number two, turned out really well, nice and flat, very happy with how they turned out. I wanted to answer a question that I got on a live stream the other day, which by the way, if you didn't know about my second channel, DIY Tyler 2, brand new, so why would you know? I've been doing some live streams over there. If you're interested in that, there's a link down below to subscribe to DIY Tyler 2 on there. Somebody asked me my opinion on the proper glue squeeze out. Let me show you my opinion here. Over here, where we have a solid glue line squeeze out, I believe there's a little bit too much glue in there. Whereas on this side, where you got droplets of glue squeezed out after the clamp up, is about perfect. This video has been brought to us by Fuji Spray, whose Q5 Platinum Turbine system I have been using for many, many projects. Actually started back on video 95, which was quite some time ago. I have the Q5 Platinum Turbine, and I have two of their high quality guns, the T70, which I'm using right now, and the T75G, which is a gravity-fed HVLP gun. I highly recommend you check out Fujispray.com for all of your spraying needs because you will get a high quality product for an excellent price point backed up by fantastic people that will answer your questions any day and any time of the week. Visit Fujispray.com. Well, that is a wrap on that desk. Man, I have been loving working on this desk as I have been working from home with the whole craziness that is going on if you're watching this in 2020. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and it helps some of you out. Please hammer that thumbs up button as it helps us out and gets this video in front of more eyes. Make sure you subscribe because there will be a couple videos of things that you see behind me that will come out in the future and you definitely don't want to miss out on them. I'm DIY Tyler and you guys have a good one.